Vaccination Day. It is a day set aside to spread awareness about the benefits of getting vaccinated and how it can prevent diseases in the long run. The World Health Organization, in association with various international and local groups, have joined hands together in this worldwide event to conduct various events, workshops, seminars to raise awareness about immunization. Medical experts are now calling for global solidarity to promote the vital importance of immunization and to advocate for universal access to life-saving vaccines. The observance of today not only highlights the prog progress made in reducing the burden of infectious diseases, but also underscores the challenges that remain in ensuring equitable vaccine access for all. And for more on this day, founder, Love for Health organization, Dr. Yusuf Harun, joins me on the news this hour. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Now, immunization and vaccination appear to be two of the most important public health interventions that perhaps constitute a cost-effective plan or strategy to reduce both the morbidity and mortality associated with infectious diseases. Now, how far has Nigeria gone in the fight against vaccine-preventable diseases? What are our success stories? Nigeria has recorded a remarkable success story in vaccination. And I'm happy you started by saying immunization and vaccination. They are interwoven, but there's a remarkable difference. Immunization is the process where an individual gets immunity or is immune from a disease due to what you call vaccination. So vaccination is the art of introducing a vaccine, which could be a liquid, which could be through an injection, it could be uh, something you can inhale or other methods. So I'll give you a good example of the vaccination, which Nigeria has recorded significantly success, is the polio vaccine, OPV. Oreal polio vaccine has been administered to over 270 million Nigerians and since 2016, in Borno State, in northeast of Nigeria, Nigeria has not recorded any history of wild polio virus. So this is a remarkable success on the part of Nigeria. Also, the Lagos State government has done significantly well because I uh, worked there, I did my NYC in Lagos State, and all primary health care centers advocate for what? For free vaccinations from birth. Now, let's, let's quickly talk about the shortage of vaccines, which I believe is a major challenge that um, uh, we are still battling with as a country. How can we achieve uh, equitable uh, access to vaccine in, in the country? Yes, we need to collaborate with international organizations, as you also said earlier. And I'm happy that some NGOs and World Health Organization is very interested in Nigeria in particular. Remember, Nigeria has the highest population in Africa and the highest population of blacks all over the world. So Nigeria is a center or pivot point in the whole world when you're talking about human population and vaccination. So I also encourage or implore foreign organizations like the World Health Organization, the United Nations, like the UNICEF, USAID, all other organizations, and individuals to partner with Nigerian Health, the Federal Ministry of Health, Lagos State Ministry of Health, and all other states Ministry of Health to provide free and accessible vaccination. This is the goal of the Millennium Development Goal. Although we have passed the year, it was supposed to have been 2015, but we can still make sure there's health for all and everybody has vaccines or everybody is immune to diseases. Another story is the COVID vaccine which just happened, which is a story for another day. All right, you mentioned earlier, sorry to take you back, uh, talking about the success story we have recorded in the fight against polio eradication. But I do hear that um, one of the greatest obstacles we, have, um, we are faced with as a country is uh, the state of our you know, health infrastructure. Uh, how true is this? Talking about the eradication no. of polio in the country. Yes. yes, our health infrastructure still has a long way. For example, I remember when I was in, just going to talk of something which we can do. I went to uh, Anike House in Lagos State University teaching hospital yesterday. I graduated from Lagos State University College of Medicine, which is in Lagos State University teaching hospital. And when I was there in 2010, 11, 12, there was a massive construction going on, which I applaud. But going there again, I noticed that it's like a lot has to be done. And it's not only Lagos State University teaching hospital. 
other places, health infrastructure has to be what well, not only funded but has to be maintained. The good news about most of these vaccines is that there was a time even the Lagos State governments and even federal governments were going home to home to give these oral polio vaccines so that everybody has access to this health care and nobody is giving excuse that, oh, I couldn't go like a woman who just gives birth, oh, I couldn't go to the hospital because I was uh, ill or because I couldn't take the vaccine or there was no transportation. So about the health infrastructure, federal governments and Lake state governments are working, collaborating together to make sure that they have health workers, community health extension workers, going to home to homes to visit their homes and administer these vaccines to people that need them. All right, our founder, Love for Health organization, Dr. Yusuf, Yusuf Aaron, thanks indeed for your time with us. Thank you very much. And that's it on TVC News this hour. For more updates on the stories we're monitoring, you can visit our website, www.tvcnews.tv. You can also follow us on our social media handles, Instagram, Facebook, and on X at TVC News NG. On YouTube, you are live at TVC News Nigeria. Thanks for watching.